fish. I'm thinking between these two, that should be enough meat for lunch. What's up guys, and welcome to another episode. So today I am out here in this beautiful creek spot that I just checked out for the first time yesterday. And I was actually really impressed by the amount of fish that are swimming around in this little creek spot. So I've been meaning to do a catch and cook for a long time now. It's been forever since the last time I did a catch and cook and I actually love doing catch and cooks and you guys seem to really like them too. So today that's what I'm gonna try to do. I don't know what all is in here. I know it's mostly salt water and yesterday I saw a ton of cichlids and mangrove snapper swimming around. So there's definitely potential for some of those and those are both great eating species. And aside from that, I know there's snook in here. I saw a ton of under slot snook, but I'm thinking we could probably find a slot snook somewhere and they are in season right now. So there's definitely some potential for a few different species. There should be sea trout in here. There's all kinds of things we could eat. So gonna go ahead, shut up about it, get to fishing, and hopefully I could catch a fish or two to fillet up and do a catch and cook for you guys. All right, guys, to start out, I'm not really going to target anything specific, so I'm just going to throw something that I think will be good for multi species. And I went ahead and tied on one of these power bait power swimmers in the color Silver Flash. Should do a pretty good job imitating multiple different kinds of bait fish that should be present in these waters. So, going to send this out there and hopefully we could get a bite or two with it. All right, we got a little cichlid. All right guys, nice little Mayan cichlid. I did decide to throw it on a stringer. I was kind of on the fence about whether or not I wanted to put it on a stringer because it is a bit small, but these are delicious fish. And even if I end up catching something else that's a little bit bigger and better to fillet up, I could even keep it for bait because they actually make great bait too. So, and they are really invasive fish and there's loads of them and there's no limit on them or size limit on them. The state of Florida encourages people to keep them. So might as well hang on to it and maybe we'll even catch another small one and just add to it, fry a couple up, who knows. But anyway, got them on the stringer, gonna toss back in the water and we'll get back to fishing. No, why can't I get a hook set? What? Just got bit twice in a row and missed the hook set. Nice, good top, or not top, yeah, cichlid. That's what we needed. Well guys, the bite has been a bit slower than I was expecting today, but I think we finally got enough meat for a catch and cook. This cichlid is slightly bigger than the first one I caught, and I'm thinking between these two that should be enough meat for lunch. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this stringer of fish back in the water, and I think I'm actually gonna cast around a little bit more just for fun. And, See if maybe I could catch one or two more fish before the end of the day here. Fish. That's a big cichlid. That's a real nice one. All right. All right, guys, that is a nice, healthy cichlid. Easily the best of the day, and it's got some beautiful colors on it. But we've already got our eaters, so I'm gonna go ahead and release this one. Mm. 
Well, all right, guys, we didn't get into the best bite or the best variety, but we managed to catch a few cichlids at least, which is just enough to get a catch and cook done. So now that we got a couple fish, I'm going to actually head out to uh, another park that's nearby that has some picnic tables just so I could kind of get that catch and cook done a little bit more comfortably. And we'll go ahead, fillet them up and cook up those fillets. Okay guys, I came over to this public park to take advantage of these shady picnic tables. Got these cichlids here. I'm going to go ahead, get them filleted, get them on the grill, and get them cooked up. All right, guys, got those cichlids filleted up now. Every time I fillet up these cichlids, I forget how little meat they actually have on them. They look like big fat fish and like they'd have big fillets, but the fillets actually come out real, real tiny usually, unless they're real big cichlids. So it's a good thing I did keep those two. I might even wanted to keep that big one. It might've been a good idea, but we at least got a little bit of meat here. So I'm gonna go ahead, season it up and get it fired up on the grill. I'm just gonna go with a really simple recipe to cook up these cichlids today. I've got some lemon pepper seasoning here and a little bit of garlic salt, and those are the only two ingredients we're gonna use. So just gonna go ahead, get these fillets seasoned up, and then we'll get them cooking. I'm just gonna spray these fillets down with a little bit of this canola oil quick before we do season them up, just to help that seasoning stick. All right, got those greased up. Now add a little lemon pepper seasoning. Add a little bit of garlic salt now. Now flip them all over and repeat the process. All right, got the fillets all seasoned up. Now I'll fire up the grill. I decided to just bring the butane stove out today because I didn't feel like messing around with the wood stove and getting a fire going and all that. So just being lazy with it today and we're gonna fire up the butane stove. All right, got a medium high flame going on there. Go ahead and grease this pan up with a little more canola oil. We'll slap these fillets on. All right. Now we just wait, give them a few minutes on each side and they should be just about ready to eat. All right guys, I've had them going on this side for quite a while now. Gonna go ahead and flip them all. Oh, might have overdone them a little bit on that side. Ha. All right, looks like we did them a little too much on that side, so gonna leave them on just a little bit less long on this side.
All right, guys, I'm thinking it's just about done now. Well, guys, it might not be the most filling meal I'll ever have, but we'll get at least a little bit of protein out of it. It looks absolutely delicious, and I'm sure it's going to taste great. So let's go ahead, dig in, and see how it is. Well, all right, guys, I just absolutely wrecked that plate full of cichlid meat and it was just absolutely delicious. And I had a ton of fun getting out there and catching some cichlids for you guys, frying them up and eating them. Couldn't have asked for a better taste in fish. Every time I cook up them cichlids, I am just completely impressed by how good that meat tastes. But anyway, guys, lots of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did enjoy the video, please just go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and comment if you want. Those things help me out a ton. And that's about all I got to say. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you on the next one, and I'll see you on the water.